Hi guys, welcome back to another series of the Windows 8.1, formerly known as Windows Blue. Now, this is the ninth part of the overview and the upcoming OS build. Now, this build is still in the preview, so just so you guys know, what you are looking at is not the final product. There are still bugs, there are still things that are under construction. So do not take this seriously. However, do consider all the new features and what's to come for the Windows 8.1. Now, the previous build that I covered was 9364. And since that build, there has been 9369 that has leaked out with a lot more features. The build that you're looking at right now is called Windows 8.1 Pro Preview, and it states in the WinVer, it's called 9374 in regards to the build. If I were to go over here to the desktop and go to the CMD and type in WinVer, um, this would come up and you can see See right here it's called the Windows 8.1 Pro Preview and the build is 9374 same thing goes with the system properties it goes right here Windows 8.1 Pro Preview I do believe once the final version comes out it's just going to be called Windows 8.1 Pro or the other version that is called just Windows 8.1 so let's go ahead and get down to what's new. I'll share some stuff with you to just go ahead and keep the video short. I'm just only going to be covering the modern UI features in part nine. In part 10, I'll go ahead and discuss the Windows PC settings with plenty of new options and features. So let's go ahead and go to the start screen right here in the start screen. If you guys can notice when I move my mouse, there is a little arrow right here that goes down. This right here goes to the all apps features that you're probably accustomed to by right clicking on the start screen and it brings you here. Also, you might have noticed that there is a search bar that you can go ahead and filter uh, by typing what you want. So whatever comes close to what you're typing, for instance, if I were to go ahead and press read, reader would come up, or if I were to go ahead and press word, then WordPad would come up as well. So that's more convenient. It's right there. It's not in the charms bar to where you have to do that. You can also filter the apps, depending on how much you have, by the name date installed and most used. So that's more convenient right here. So also when you're done over here, you can either go to the start menu back over here, or you can just press the up arrow to shoot back up to the start screen. Next is when you right click to customize the tiles, it actually slightly dims itself. One thing I did not mention is that you can multitask by right clicking a bunch of apps and just dragging them over here. So as you can see, it says that three apps were selected and all I have to do is just select them right here. The tile arrangement with the smaller size tiles is more fitted to the allowed spaces. If you've seen the previous versions of the overview in regards to the smaller tiles, you'll notice that they seem a little buggy and they don't, they don't fit all together all too well. Over here, if I were to go ahead and select them all and just press smaller, they fit perfectly as you can see. There's this new tile called files. And if you were to go ahead and click on that, you can go ahead and be navigated to either your SkyDrive or your PC. SkyDrive would be right here. And also the PC would be under right here. Now, you can go ahead and select some areas where your documents would be or where your pictures, videos, or music would be or your desktop and downloads and storage devices. I do believe you can also open files and launch applications. For instance, if I were to go into this drive and I were to go ahead and click on setup, the application would be launched into the desktop being that it's a native desktop application, exe, and it would go ahead and open it. I would say that this is a different setup in regards to the whole navigation opposed to the whole file explorer. So this right here is just more convenient. It's more simpler. You don't have a window. You just have this full screen to where you can just navigate through your files right here, open them, view them, or whatnot, whatever option that it does have. Also, one thing it does have is if I were to go ahead and click here on documents, you have fewer options. Go and click thumbnails. You can also delete that selected file or folder. So that's more convenient, but I'd be advised to go ahead and select it by right clicking only. You can actually multitask by selecting multiple files or folders, and then you can either delete them, you can select all, or you can just clear the selection, or you can go ahead and create a brand new folder right here. Another cool feature is if you have two apps open and you want to go ahead and open one more app, for instance, store, this will go ahead and come up and it gives you the selection to go ahead and either put it on the left or the right or the third option could be in the middle as well. So you can put it right here or you can put it right here. But it opens as a thumbnail and it gives you the option beforehand to go ahead and put it either or. And if you have a higher resolution screen, you can go ahead and put it in the middle. For instance, if it's a 1920 by 1080 resolution screen, you can go ahead and do that and that'll open up as well. There was a new animation in opening new apps, but this seemed only to be appearing in the build 9369. It doesn't seem to be the case in the 9374. Um, it's just the old way when you go ahead and flip that app open. That's the only animation we see right now. 
This pretty much covers the whole modern UI start screen features. If you guys wanted to stay subscribed or actually subscribe for the first time for flipping windows, go ahead and do so. I will have part 10 out pretty soon in regards to the PC settings. And there are plenty of new features in regards to the PC settings as well as others. All right. So if you guys want, uh, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Go ahead and share it for others to go ahead and stay in touch with the newest versions and updates in regards to the Windows 8.1. And until next time, see you later, guys. All right. Bye.